We have more breaking news following a spike in COVID-19 cases. Mayor LaToya Cantrell in New Orleans says bars in the city must shut down. And Travers, that's not all. Restaurants will also be banned from selling takeout alcohol. WDSU reporter Aubrey Killian joins us now live at City Hall. Aubrey, this ban officially starts in just a matter of hours. Hey, Christina, that's right. So Mayor Cantrell says when it comes to social gatherings, things have gotten out of control. Now, this new ban, it officially takes effect tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. So take a look. Let me walk you through the details of what was just announced right here at City Hall. So Mayor Cantrell, she says that people are gathering outside bars and it is contributing to the amount of COVID-19 cases. Control says she understands this decision. Of course, it will hurt bars, but she says it is for safety and she wants to make sure kids can safely get back inside the classroom. She also said hospitals are seeing a major increase in COVID patients. Control stressed that when it comes to gatherings, the limit is 50 people outdoors and 25 people indoors. She described some of the issues they are seeing that are contributing to this decision. There could be an upward of 200 folks gathering, then two party buses pulling up, a second line, you know, a, a brass band there. Um, police responds to a gathering, shows up, and then needs more backup because it's far larger than what they even anticipated. But this is a problem. And Cantrell stressed that anyone or any businesses that are not in compliance will lose their permits. She is asking the public to report. Any large gatherings or anyone not complying to this new ban to call 311. Again, the ban starts tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Reporting live at City Hall, I'm Aubrey Killian, WDSU News. People have no idea how good you have it. I know perfectly well. Everyone's life is perfect. Sometimes I think I want to be unhappy. All right. <clears throat> Shalom. Call along Lord Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekach, Radash. Double honor, see the apostles, the elders, a great millstone, who rule well. Peace and salutation of the brothers uh, pushing his word in truth and sincerity. And for your few sisters that watch, Shalom. Um... Just want to do this quick little video about that. that. That's a big deal here in New Orleans because a lot of their economy is based on, you know, alcohol. And by them banning that, that will definitely make the people mad. But I just want to go into, bring out a, a scripture on that though. It's Isaiah, the 24th chapter. I'll start in verse 4. <clears throat> the earth mourneth and fadeth away, the world languisheth and fadeth away, the haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws and changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. <clears throat> and did not uh did not defile the land. You know, and he constantly defiled them on a daily basis. Uh, therefore have the curse devoured the earth and they that dwell therein are desolate therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left the new wine mourneth the vine languishes all the merry hearted do sigh the mirth of tabrets uh, ceaseth the noise of them that rejoice endeth and the joy of the harp ceaseth they shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. The city of confusion is broken down. Babylon the Great is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. There is crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened and the mirth of the land is gone. And that's a big thing. Because <clears throat> by them doing that, it'll take away the mirth out of the land because... People are so mad about being on lockdown. They feel like they can't go anywhere. You know, they, they just get tired of it. And, and that's what's really going on. The mirth is gone. You know, 
the more and more they keep shutting stuff down, changing ordinances, all that. That whole living it up, living life to the fullest, that shit is going out the window, you know. So uh, I hope you're edified with that. Shalom.